All right, today I'm uh, going to give you another example of uh, expressing uh, logarithmic expressions uh, from exponential expressions. And uh, if you've seen the other videos, then you, uh, as a recap, I'll just uh, just tell you that this is uh, the logarithmic function right here. It's a formula, and it is y equals log base. That's a b x. Uh, and the exponential form of that is base to the y power equals x. And this right here is just the exponential form. It's the exponent form of the logarithm, which is up here. It's just another way to express it. It's the same thing. So if uh, you got a problem that looks something like this, um, where they throw a Mickey in the deck and uh, give you... Um, you know, a, a radicand or a square root, and you're like, whoa, where's the, uh, where's the exponent in that? Well, a little trick that you can use to get an exponent out of that is called the, uh, the what I call the uh, exponent of half rule, and that is if you just take the radicand out like this and set it to one half exponent, and I'll put uh, parentheses because you'll need that for your calculator. It's pretty messy, but uh, you'll see what I mean here. Okay, now you have an exponent. Okay, you have a y. Before you didn't have a y, now you have a y. Now, why did I choose a half? One half? You're like, where did you get that number? Did you pull it out of the air? Uh, no, it's just a little trick. If you uh, set any number, um, any square number, like 81, to an exponent of one half, it will give you what the square root is of 81. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's 81. If you put 81 to the one half power, uh, it's going to give you nine, which is the square root of 81. Same thing with any other uh, square root number, like 64. Uh, 64 to the one half power will give you eight, uh, seven. You know, so it, it, 49. If you took 49 to the one half power, it would give you seven. So you can see, you can try it in your calculator and you'll see that I'm telling the truth. So that's how you get an exponent. So now you got an exponent, okay? So you can rewrite this as this. 81 to the 1 half power equals x. Now, they're going to want that in a logarithm form. Well, it's pretty simple. All you're doing now is plugging numbers in. In this form right here, it's an exponential form. So 81 is the same thing as b, the base. The half exponent is the same thing as y, right in here. And of course, this is still x. So all you got to do is rearrange those, those letters to look like this in this form, right? So it's asking for y, right? So 1 half equals... Now it's looking for, you got to put logarithm here because you're expressing a, a logarithmic function. But if you want to look for the base now, the base is what? It's 81, right? And this thing is still x. So that is what your logarithmic expression will look like. Okay?